All right, got a little card. I was thinking about something. Mm, 1991 or 1992. I was a little kid, and I was disappointed with the uh, the economy. And once I started realizing, I uh, realizing the uh, all these jobs were going to Japan and China. I wrote a letter to President Bush at the time. Uh, and it was very heated and it was very angry and it was very upset and I felt let down and I wanted to know why were these jobs, American jobs going overseas? Why? Why? And I used the word Jap and I used the word chink and I used these, and I really wasn't like a racial racist kid, but I knew the words that was making, me, the people that were making me angry, so I wanted to use hateful words. And, uh, Eight or nine years old, or whatever, however old old, uh, old I was at the time, nine or ten, or whatever. Um, I didn't know. I didn't know the way. I had no idea how to write the president a letter, you know, properly or with the due respect. They say. If I did write him one today, well, they probably. Anyway, um, so. Um, but I was upset that there was American jobs that were going overseas. And why? And I said, why can't we bring all the jobs here? Because I started knowing all the electronic jobs were going in China. And all these jobs were going in China. And I was pissed off. So I yelled at the president. And I said it was the stupidest damn thing i ever seen. And blah, blah, blah. And please fix this problem. You know? But here's my conspiracy theory. Well, now, when I look back on it. I remember that year they were encouraging lots of kids to write in to Bush. They wanted to hear from the children of America. I mean, they do this every time with every president. But I mean, this year they were like, it was, maybe I'm imagining it. But I think they were, either it was through the schools or something, they were pushing us to, like, get in contact with the president. He wants to hear from you, you know, encouraging lots of letters from the president. They acted like they wanted to know from us. Well, could it be that they wanted to know from the future uh, people that would be the generation that would be uh, electing or not electing his son? Could it be that they were just trying to they were trying to get a little uh, clue as to who we are, a little bit more about us as kids into the future? I mean, that nosy, really, that nosy. Well, and to end this, that was my question, but to end this is, um, the nature of my, my letter, yeah, and how probably most little kids are not writing letters like that at that age to the president, that kind of disrespect and demand and, and, uh, borderline what they'd call a terrorist now, Daiz. It was just free speech back then, but anyway, um, uh, could they have been following me? Uh, could they? Of course, they kept that letter, and maybe somebody said, "Hey, uh, you might want to watch this kid, and keep tabs on him." <laughs> anyway, you never know. I mean, how, I'm just curious if they've been doing that or not, just because. And then all of a sudden, recently, with my YouTube channel, or all of a sudden they say, "Oh, we know who that is." We've been following him, or something, whatever, even if they're not, uh, the point is, you guys see me looking out, I'm always looking out, this ain't no Angelo John Gage look, looking out, I'm, I'm always looking out, because I like looking out, I gotta, I'm looking out a garage, okay, so I'm looking outdoor, I like to look out, and yes, I've lived in. Barstow area, and I've lived in different places, and I've lived in, <clears throat> I've been shot at more than once, so, yeah, so I have been, uh, if I have any old instincts to look out, it's just because they're old, and they hard, die hard, <laughs> anyway, <coughs> now this is going on into something else, but, <clears throat> that was my point was, uh, could the president, could they have been, of course they could have been, you know. The answer is yes, of course, you know. 
that's the answer but it's just to think about for me to think about you guys want to think about it go ahead it's like i said I said it more than once this is a video journal for me and i share it with you <laughs> uh, and then unless there's certain people i want to directly talk to um but uh, so could they have been looking at the uh, trying to keep they've known that they're going to elect their son they want put keep tabs on the people that are going to be in the future around the, you know the the young adults up around the son you know his son anyway whatever uh i'm always thinking about that kind of weird stuff and thought i'd let you guys know i wrote a letter to the president once it's pretty interesting and boy was i disappointed when i got the phony picture of him and his wife and and and, and it was just a stamped signature and it was you know it was obvious even to a 10 year old that it was generic after I read it more than once, and I realized it was generic, and it was just something they send to anybody, just anybody that writes a letter. It was nothing, there was no personalness to it. And after that, I hated the president. Actually, I didn't even like hate him. I just hated the people that didn't get my letter to him, and because I knew it was important enough, you know. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. You know, but at a ten year, as a ten year old, I thought this and thought people, some of his guards or his people, is not keeping the good letters from getting to him. Kind of like a mythical creature, you know, or something. You know, I thought that somebody was stopping my letters. Someone didn't like my message, and I knew, I knew the president would like it, but because there's no way a president wouldn't have liked my letter and done something about it. Back in those fairy tale days when I thought WWF was real. <laughs> and I believed in Transformers and G.I. Joe. Uh, anyway. So, that goes into a whole nother thing. And I'm going to leave it at that so I can ponder on that some more. Kind of weird to think about. The more I think about it, the more strange, just stranger ideas come up anyway. Alright, it's that love, Clark. Love you guys.